Lights go out, and as we said, folks, it's about to get plenty crazy here at Brisbane's Archerfield Speedway. Watch the man at the back of the bus, the number 45 machine, as we go squeezing the pedal for the C main here at Brisbane. Keeler gets the jump down into one and two. Gordry sits on the bottom side. Zach Howell, top four, going to the bottom part of the B main. Everybody trying to get in where they fit at the moment. Chandler already from the back of the bus. Up into fifth last at the moment. The 45. Have a look at him. Three wide. Jeff Davey gets it all on. Tidy and goes motocrossing across the turn two. Plenty of air underneath the Oz track. Number 74 machine. Chandler picks off another one. Down the back straight through the 3-4-10. Brad Keeler doing it beautifully at the moment. Gordry settling in the wheel track, sitting there for second spot. Then we go back to King. The battle at the moment is on the bubble. Oh, again, Johnny White untidy. Another one spinning around, that's Matthews. And we stay green. Gee whiz, it's an eventful C main. Keeler, Gordry, King. The battle for fourth, fifth and sixth at the moment. Zach Howell at the moment hangs on to fourth. Chandler in his wheel tracks coming out of two, down the back straight. The real battle on the racetrack. Fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Libby Ellis. Oh, round goes high. That'll bring the yellows on, Trev. It was very busy at the start of this one. Yeah, absolutely. Keeler, though, it's, tell you what, I don't think everything's 100% happy in the Keeler machine. He was starting to come back to Jeremy Gordry. Jason King needed that, but the man that needed it the most was Brant Chandler. Trying to... Libby Ellis looking to make it into that top four. She's had a sensational night tonight. We go racing one more time, and Keeler gets the jump. Ellis tries to go with Chandler, looks on the bottom side. Can she get him? No, she can't. Zach Hal pulls away. Chandler closes the door on her, and again, Libby Ellis has got to set him up. One more time. Keeler, Gordry, King. Back to Zach Hal, Chandler, and Ellis. Down to you, Trent. Bring him home. Oh, out in front though, Keeler leads. Gordry trying everything he can to close the gap on the 68 machine. Here comes Chandler on the outside of Zach Howell. Oh, Howell goes to go up the racetrack, looks across and there's Chandler. Big faceful of the Schulte small goods side on the barge board. And the top wing is what Zach Howell got. And Chandler moves up into fourth. Now he's out after Jason King in the Bowden Zone sponsored number 69 machine. Aaron Bender right there just trying to find a way past Johnny White ahead of James Matthews and still hide at the tail of the field. Keelor. Keelor drops it down to the bottom as um, Gordry trying to get closer. King about to come under fire from Chandler as Hyde and Matthews go nose to uh, tail. Out of turn four, Chandler. Trying to find a way around Jason King's machine. Zach Howell's got Libby Ellis for company. Aaron Vanderrijden has got away past Johnny White. Matthews has dropped back behind Hyde to be last on the racetrack. Brad Keeler leads the way. Gordry slowly closing in. King's got away from Chandler that time around the racetrack. As the white flag is out, make that the check and Brad Keeler will take the win. Gordry second. Third going to King, Chandler transferring to the back of the B. Then it's Sack Howell, Libby Ellis, Aaron Vanderrijden, John White, Craig Hyde and James Matthews will round out the runners. Oh, Brisbane, the Petsio Development Series feature. Put your hands together for Brad Keeler. Transferring to the back of the B also is uh, Jeremy Gordry.